Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G and it's Tuesday, September 28th. Tesla is named as a defendant in a lawsuit by five police officers who suffered injuries after a Model X on autopilot crashed into them during a traffic stop. The lawsuit stems from an accident that happened earlier this year in Splendora, Texas. Citing the current NHTSA investigation, they are suing on the claim that the accident was caused by a defect where the autopilot doesn't detect emergency vehicles. The officers are also suing the restaurant that reportedly overserved the driver. The lawsuit is requesting damages in excess of $1 million, with maximum damages of $20 million from Tesla and Papa's Restaurant. Legally, the officer's representation will need to overcome the very clear legal contract that every Tesla owner must agree to, that they are ultimately responsible for maintaining attentive driving while using autopilot features. There is indeed a precedent set for suing a bar for recklessly overserving alcohol. However, there is no legal history for self-driving software, especially at the low levels. Tesla has agreed to supply a massive 6 gigawatt hours of batteries to Aravon. Aravon said that it selected Tesla's Megapack for its Falcon portfolio, a joint project energy company with Tenasca. They're going to develop a standalone storage project in California for the load centers over the next four years. They write, quote, By the end of 2021, Aravon will have overseen construction and operation of 250 megawatts or 1,000 megawatt hours of battery energy storage systems, deploying the Tesla Megapack at sites in California and Nevada. Now, this is a pretty big goal when you look at it in terms of scale. This is almost twice the energy capacity that Tesla has deployed over the last year between Megapacks, Powerpacks, and Powerwalls. The goal is going to provide energy at peak times of energy use, and the new massive supply agreement comes as Tesla just broke ground on a new factory nicknamed the Mega Factory. They're going to be building a lot of battery mega packs in California. Analysts are predicting that Tesla is about to report a new record quarter for deliveries despite significant challenges. After a long backlog of missing parts, an enormous wave of Tesla deliveries has commenced this very week. Musk has called it the craziest week in Tesla's history, and the team is pulling together to make numbers that Musk hopes will be decent. Despite the challenges, several Wall Street analysts believe that the new delivery record is likely. Piper Sandler and RBC are both estimating 233,000 vehicle deliveries for the third quarter. A poll of analysts by Visible Alpha shows that Wall Street is expecting 222,700 vehicle deliveries from Tesla in that third quarter. If Tesla indeed meets the numbers, it would be yet another record quarter in a row, which would greatly benefit their future operations. Elon Musk announced that Tesla plans to start adding about 1,000 new full self-driving beta testers per day, starting next week. On Twitter, he said, quote, Wow, lots of interest in full self-driving beta. Plan is to roll out version 10.2 a week from Friday, then on-ramp about 1,000 owners per day, prioritizing by safety rating. First few days, probably 100 out of 100, then 99, 98, etc. Now, considering an estimated 2,000 people currently are in the early access program, Tesla would be doubling its fleet of cars with access to full self-driving in just two days. Of course, this is also dependent on the drivers that can appease Tesla's software to determine good driver score. Yesterday, we reported that the system can ding a driver's score based on construction disrupting traffic patterns and road debris being mistaken for cars. Some drivers went so far as to jump on the freeway at a snail's pace, trying to improve their score. Electrek got a first-hand look at the Rivian R1T electric pickup truck. With over 300 miles of range, more perks and features than someone can realistically count, the R1T certainly impressed. Those interested in the truck should have a look at the wealth of photos and in-depth experience in the full article. Here are some haphazard quotes from Electrek's editorial director, Seth Weintraub. The seats were super comfortable, and the trim was just the right mix of sporty Spartan and rugged luxury. Rivian's operating system isn't as polished as Tesla's is currently, but it has the same ambitions. Rivian wants to own the experience completely. At 7.30 a.m. the next day, we were ready for our first drive, and man, I was not expecting to climb a whole friggin' mountain. Usually, the media drivers are on a closed course in a company headquarters or some other vanilla proving grounds. This was, to put it mildly, an adventure. Two journalists in the previous group had gotten altitude sickness, and one almost required an airlift. I was simply amazed at the rocks we were climbing. 
the angle of attack, and how methodically all four wheels kept traction, even while doing gymnastics over every obstacle. And finally, he writes, quote, I put down $1,000 for an R1S, the three-row SUV version of the vehicle. That should tell you more than anything I can say here. General Motors' newly dedicated commercial EV and logistics company, Bright Drop, has shared a glimpse of their new smaller delivery vehicle, the E410. Their first larger delivery vehicle will see first deliveries to FedEx Express this holiday season. That one is the 600 version. The new smaller version will offer just over 410 cubic feet of cargo space on a shorter wheelbase compared to the EV600. Telecom giant Verizon has signed on as a first customer for the new E410, although Bright Drop is not sharing sales volume or pricing at this time. Bright Drop plans to begin production of the EV410 at the Cami assembly plant in 2023, which is actually a very short time frame to achieve mass production. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. We also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.